Hello everybody, it's Tom and Jerry fan 64 here. It's now time to do a movie review to Ghostbusters Afterlife. And I and I apologize if the camera might be out of focus. And I'm not only am I going to be reviewing Ghostbusters Afterlife, I'm also gonna be doing a comparison video on two different versions of the Siege, which let's start with the comparison video on two different versions of the Siege. I have the 1999 DVD, which is a 2006 rip, and I have the Premiere Series VHS. Let's start with the VHS. This, is, this might be where I film videos or not. I'm filming on a table. The 41st in 1999. This tape I got back on November 28th. And this tape I was originally planning on throwing away because the film strip was originally damaged. But I tested the tape and the tape still works. My film strip is in good condition now. And now let's show the DVD, my 1999 DVD, which I got yesterday. This is my only 20th Century Fox DVD to be DTS. This is a 1999 DVD, but this is a reprint from 2006. This DVD I got yesterday. So yeah. Before I do the review of the Ghostbusters Afterlife, if you guys, I don't know if you saw my comment on my update yesterday. Unfortunately, my DVD of White Chicks would not work in my Xbox One S or my Blu-ray player. It, and I did not, when I came to realize that the disc was rotted, I should have gotten, I should have known that. So yeah, now, now that is it for my comparison video, and I do hope to get White Chicks back in the collection on VHS if I can come across it. So yeah. In my opinion, Ghostbusters Afterlife was definitely better than the 2016 reboot that was released. And I will do a couple other, three more comparison videos today as well. There's a lot of movies I got yesterday. There's a couple that I need to show, do a comparison video on. Including Tommy Boy and Meet the Parents. I do have to do a comparison video of those today. This movie was really awesome. Ghostbusters Afterlife I've been wanting to see for a while. I missed it in theaters, unfortunately. This is definitely my favorite, the best Ghostbusters movie since the original 1984 movie. And I loved it. This movie was a great tribute to Harold Ramis. And rest in peace to Harold Ramis. I'm not going to spoil it, but this movie was a great tribute to Harold Ramis. It def I almost got emotional at the very end. I'm not going to spoil it, but if you guys want to see what I'm talking about, just watch the movie for yourself. I hope to get this movie on Blu-ray sometime or DVD. Or perhaps 4K. This was a great movie. This movie I watched on the free apps of Fetch Fruit. And this was a really great movie. I I watched the beginning of it yesterday, but I decided to finish the rest of it today. So yeah, I'm going to give the movie Ghostbusters Afterlife a 10 out of 10 stars and an A-. I hope the new sequel that's coming out in December of this year is good. Even though, sadly, Jason Reitman is not going to be directing it, but it's gonna be, he's going to be producing it. This movie is going to be directed by Gil Keenan, who also directed the, the absolutely fantastic animated movie Monster House, which I don't think should be for kids, in my honest opinion. Yeah, and I do have Monster House on Blu-ray. I will review that movie at some point. I'm really, ex I'm still excited for Ghostbusters Afterlife, the sequel. I'm really excited for this, for the new sequel. This was a great sequel. I think, I don't think it's as good as the first two films. In the series, but this is still this is definitely a great Ghostbusters movie. So yeah, like I said, I'm gonna give Ghostbusters Afterlife a 10 out of 10 stars and an A minus. So yeah, that is it for my movie review to Ghostbusters Afterlife and my comparison video on two different versions of the Siege, in which I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're generous enough, please consider leaving a like on this video and subscribe plus it really helps out. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye everybody, adios.